Welcome to 3D Amazon FBA. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about sourcing at Ross and I want to give you guys three leads, three completely different items to give you ideas of things to look for at the store when you go into Ross and to an extension DD's discount as well. They're owned by the same company. Um, they for the most part get the same stuff. Two of the three items I'm going to show you I have sourced at both stores. Um, this is product that I actually picked out yesterday. I went shopping all day yesterday. And uh, this is product that I actually bought yesterday to show you guys to purchase. Um, I left the price tags on them so you can see the price. So before we get going, can you guys like and subscribe to the channel? I'd really appreciate it. You know, it really helps me out. It keeps me motivated to make some videos and such. So I keep giving you guys some information. So with that said, the first thing, this is something that uh, I found at the checkout stand, you know, on my way to go pay. Um, you know, I always scan the candies and stuff like that over by the register while I'm waiting. So the first is, um, is it Ghirardelli, um, this is dark chocolate peppermint bark. Um, they do carry several varieties of peppermint bark. This is the only one that's profitable now, um, you know. This is going to be sold in a bundle of two. Um, this is something I've sold. This will be the third year in a row that I've sold this specific item. So this is something that comes around every Christmas. Um, you can probably find it at Walgreens and Rite Aid and stuff like that. I haven't seen it in those stores yet, but I don't go there that often. So yeah, the first one's some Ghirardelli um, dark chocolate peppermint bark. So this one right now has a sales rate of 38000 so it's selling, you know, probably three to five a day. It's going for $19.34, and there's only one FBA seller on it, which is great. So you can see here the price is $349, so that is $6.98, $6.98 for two. So that your net profit's five dollars and ninety-eight cents on two of these, and all you gotta do is remove the sticker, stick it two of them in a poly bag, and uh, put an Amazon label on it, and that's real quick and easy, six bucks. And you find these just waiting at the cash register to uh, to pay. So the next one is something again I've sold about three or four of this specific one, and there's about five or six other baby toilet seats I have sold. I get this at Ross and Dee's discount. You can see the price is $7. So this item doesn't sell all that fast. Um, I think it sells about one a day on average. So when I send this in, I looked, I think there was five other sellers. So this would probably sit a week, week and a half before it sold, worst case scenario, like two weeks. But, you know, I don't mind. I like having a large variety of products in my store just so I have more opportunities for sales. So um, I will buy these even though it will take a week to two weeks to sell. You know, the sales rank is 94000 and it's selling for twenty three ninety five, and it has 15 four-star reviews. So it has a higher sales rank than I like to go for baby. I like to say under 50000 but you know it has 14 reviews so it does sell and you know and again i have sold a couple of these before in the past so um, i do know that it will sell so this cost me 6.99 if you guys can see that price right there so my tax rate it would be 7.57 so I'm looking to make $6.99 on this. You know, it's a little awkward to put in the boxes, but I don't care. It's a quick and easy, or not really quick, but pretty quick uh, $7. You know, and again, there was uh, five sellers on it. But yes, I sell um, Disney baby cups, sippy cups, um, rattle, like a rattle set with that comes with, uh, um, I don't even remember the things you suck on. Sorry, the, the name of it's um, slipping my mind. But I do. I don't sell a lot of it, but it is something that I do sell consistently, like the toilet seats and the sippy cups and things like that. But whenever something has a higher than um, sales rank than you typically like to go, if it does have reviews, like 14, 15, 16 reviews or more, 
Um, I will take a chance on it sometimes if the profit is there, just so I can, um, you know, just grow my inventory, have more opportunity for sales, and I do know it sells because it's got reviews. So, um, you know, so don't like go deep on those things, but you can buy two or three, make an extra twenty bucks during the month. You know, they're super lightweight, which is really nice. So the last thing here is a Fortnite airplane. Um, I have sold many of these. As you can see, the price is eleven ninety nine. Um, I bought these at DD's discounts, and I think I believe they were cheaper there last time I sourced these. I've got about ten or twelve of these in the garage. Um, I sold five or six this past week. Actually, my kids are super excited. You know, they love video games. Fortnite's one of their favorites. My phone is scanning it. There we go. So m with my local tax rate, this is a $12.98 purchase. It's currently selling for $29.97. So this is one of those items that Amazon has removed the sales rank. I don't know why they did that, but you know, several months ago, they removed the sales rank. Let me see. I don't know, think you guys will be able to tell. No. So... Whenever you look at stuff like this, you know, it's Fortnite. I assume it sells as Fortnite's, you know, still one of the hottest games on, um, on the market for the last couple of years. So this one has 747 five-star reviews uh, on Amazon is what the app is showing. And it's selling for $29.94. Amazon is on the listing. So, uh, you know, they, they do share the buy box because they've shared it with me this week. So with my tax rate here, this item is worth $6.67 profit. You know, it's not amazing, but it's, um, you know, about 50% ROI, a little bit higher than 50% ROI, uh, just barely. But, uh, you know, part of it is, you know, I like to be over 40% ROI, so 50 is cool with me. But this really helps me because, you know, it's kind of bulky and I sell tons of grocery and groceries actually really heavy. So, you know, like I put this in the box and then I can put some of the heavier stuff on it. And I try, I try to keep all my boxes around 48 pounds. So this is like takes up a lot of space in the box while I put more grocery on it, which actually works out really well for me. So, you know, this was a $6.67 profit. And again, I got 10 or 12 of them. So I stand to probably make seventy to eighty dollars on this product, you know. So um, I wanted to show you guys a larger variety of items this time than just like all toys or all grocery or something like that to give you guys ideas. But you know, with these three items, I make six, twelve, about twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars, somewhere in there, on these three items. You know, they're all lightweight. They're really easy to ship. You know, prepping is super duper easy, you know, so, um, you know, it's really quick and easy money. I got them all at the same store, so it's not like I was bouncing around everywhere. So, um, you know, I hope you guys got some uh, good ideas from this video and you get some value from the video. Um, I do think things like this are going to be really good for the Christmas season. So, um, you know, I would personally scan all the Fortnite stuff that you can find at the stores to see if you can make some money on it i've been selling fortnite stuff for about a month or two so um, you know get out there get sourcing i recommend ross it's my favorite store to source you know i make more money at walmart but i much prefer sourcing at ross you know because ross all i even look at is bras socks toys and groceries items you know candies and stuff as i leave the store that's all I source. I'm in and out 15, 20 minutes unless the line is long. You know, sometimes I'll go through the clearance um, clothes, but that really depends upon how well I do with bras. If I have enough bras that I'm going to send them out in the shipment, I might go through the clearance clothes there. You can find like Nike, Adidas, and stuff like that. Um, but socks are amazing at Ross. Bras are good. Toys are good. You know, um, so Ross is starting to get out all their tables. So you should see a major influx of toys hitting their stores. So, um, you know, that's what I got for you today. If you guys can like and subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.